elephants, Asian, African. Many people think it is the same thing. However, it's not true. They are similar in many ways, but there are clear differences in size, appearance, behavior. So hopefully, after watching this video, you will be able to easily distinguish between them. So here is a detailed comparison. 1. Species and distribution. African elephant. It has two subspecies. Savanna elephant and forest elephant. With forest elephant being more endangered. It's a bit smaller than savanna elephant. They are found across sub-Saharan Africa, from savannas to forests. By the way, sometimes savanna elephant is called bush elephant. Asian elephant. Subspecies. Indian, Sri Lankan, Sumatran and Bornean elephants. They are found in South and Southeast Asia. Correspondingly, India, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Borneo, etc. 2. Size African elephants are the largest land animals on Earth, while Asian elephants are smaller than African elephants. 3. Ears This is the easiest way to tell them apart, in my opinion. African elephants have very large ears. It helps them dissipate heat. Asian elephants' ears are smaller and rounder. It's because they live in more forested and cooler areas compared to African savannas. 4. Head shape. It is also a very prominent feature in elephants. It helps one distinguish between African and Asian elephants from the first glance, similar to ear shape. African elephants have more rounded forehead, a single dome, while Asian elephants have twin domed head with an indent in the middle. 5. Trunk. African elephant's trunk has two finger-like projections at the tip for precision grip, while Asian elephant's trunk has one finger-like projection. 6. Tusks. This is a bit harder. In African elephants, both males and females may have tusks, though some females don't have them. In Asian elephants, only some males have tusks. Females usually lack them. The keyword is usually. 7. Skin and body. African elephants have more wrinkled skin. It helps them retain water and stay cool. Asian elephants have smoother skin, sometimes with pinkish depigmentation patches on trunk, ears and face. 8. Behavior. African elephants usually form larger herds, especially in savanna habitats. Asian elephants' herds are generally smaller and more forest-dwelling. 9. Conservation status. Even though it's not some distinguishing feature that you can tell these elephants apart with. African savanna elephants are vulnerable and forest elephants are endangered, while Asian elephants are all endangered. Endangered means more at risk than vulnerable, even though vulnerable are also at risk. Now, for fun, I want to compare elephants to some of the extinct species from the family of Elephantidae. Those are mammoths and mastodons. Mammoths, they lived during the Pleistocene era, that is about 5 million to 4,000 years ago. Habitat, cold northern regions, Eurasia and North America. Appearance, shaggy coats of long hair, adapted to ice age. Curved tusks, sometimes extremely long, spiraling. Slightly smaller ears than modern elephants, that is to conserve heat. Diet grasses, sedges and other tundra vegetation. Fun fact, some populations of mammoths survived until around 4,000 years ago, overlapping with ancient Egyptian civilization. And the closest existing relative to mammoths is Asian elephant. African elephants are a little bit different. But first, mastodons. They lived about 25 million to 10,000 years ago, and they inhabited forests of North and Central America. It's purely American elephant relative. Appearance, stockier build, shorter legs, straighter, less curved tusks. Trunk, similar to elephants, but overall body shape more compact. Diet, browsers, mostly twigs, leaves, shrubs, conifers. Fun fact, DNA shows they split from the elephant's lineage much earlier than mammoths. Mastodons are quite distant from current elephants, both Asian and African ones. It is more like Asian elephants and mammoths are like cousins, but mastodons are like more distant relatives. Question. 
if mammoths are closest ancestor to Asian elephants, who is the closest ancestor to African elephants? The closest ancestor to the African elephants is the straight-tusked elephant. This extinct species lived during the Pleistocene epoch in Europe and Asia. The study of elephant evolution is ongoing, but current research indicates that straight-tusked elephant is a sister group to the African forest elephants. Their shared ancestor lived between 1.5 and 3.5 and million years ago. Straight-tusked elephants likely live very similarly to modern elephants, with herds of adult females and juveniles and solitary adult males. These were European elephantids who thrived during interglacial periods. The species became extinct during the latter half of the last glacial period, with younger remains found in the Iberian Peninsula, dating to around 44,000 years ago. Also, straight-tusked elephants hybridized with African forest elephants, and they left plenty of DNA contributing to the forest elephant genome. The shared ancestry with the African forest elephant also means a close relationship with the African savanna elephant, as they are considered separate species within the same genus. Okay, this is supposed to be a short overview. The main idea is to pinpoint the difference between African elephants and Asian elephants. When you see one, look at the ears and at the shape of its head. Do not forget to glance at the mirror at yourself after that. Goodbye.